Welcome to Chapter 1 of Digital Radiography Provided by Medical Professionals. Upon completing this module, you will be able to identify components of various digital imaging systems, compare digital systems, discuss the imaging receptors that are used in digital imaging, discuss the image acquisition process for computed radiography, or CR, and digital radiography, or DR, discuss the construction and characteristics of the plate, explain differences in direct and indirect capture DR systems, Explain the role of charge coupled devices in digital imaging systems. Discuss factors affecting spatial resolution in digital imaging. Explain the process of image extraction and processing for computed radiography and digital radiography systems. And lastly, Describe factors that affect digital image quality. Computed radiography was the first step in moving X-ray departments to digital imaging. However, CR did not streamline the imaging process when compared to film screen imaging. The need for wet chemicals and a darkroom were eliminated along with the space formally used for the purpose of filing film images. Advances in computed te technology have led to direct digital imaging, which has streamlined or reduced the steps in the imaging chain. In this section, we will cover digital radiography with the subtopics of the digital image receptor, direct capture conversion, which includes flat panel detectors and thin film transistors, or TFTs, and indirect conversion, which includes photo detectors or amorphous silicon, charge coupled devices, and complementary metal oxide semiconductors or CMOS. DR is a term used to describe dim digital imaging receptors that do not require a plate reader. The image is captured and data is transmitted to the computer system for processing. The image receptor is immediately ready for a new exposure. DR may involve a cassette or be cassette -less. DR systems have, in many cases, reduced the number of steps in the imaging process and eliminated the need for cassettes altogether, thereby somewhat reducing operating costs. DR imaging systems have in many cases eliminated the needs for cassettes to be carried from place to place and have overall reduced the number of steps required in the imaging chain. DR technology utilizes flat panel detectors with thin film transistors in both direct and indirect digital systems. The difference between direct and indirect capture is whether or not a scintillator material is needed. 
Direct capture flat panel detectors use a photoconductor which converts exit radiation into an electronic signal. Indirect capture flat panel detectors need a simulator material to capture the remnant radiation and convert the X-ray photons to light photons. They use a two-stepped process. First, they convert incoming X-ray photons into light photons. And secondly, they convert those light photons to an electric, electronic signal using a photoconductor. Direct capture conversion systems were originally cassetteless systems with the IR being an integral part of the X-ray unit. The flat panel detector replaced the Bucky assembly and was never touched by the technologist. Traditional X-ray units had to be replaced if the department was converting from film screen technology to digital imaging. Today, there are wireless detectors that can be used with any existing X-ray equipment. Termed direct because there is no need for light conversion, these systems directly convert the X-ray photons exiting the patient into an electronic signal. They use a photoconductor and a TFT array. A TFT is a complex circuit that collects electrons. TFTs have an electronic switch on a flat panel detector that allows, allows the charge collected at each pixel to be independently transferred to external electronics where they are amplified and digitized. The photoconductor used in a direct conversion systems is amorphous selenium. Photoconductors are materials that will absorb x-rays and immediately convert them into electrons, which are then collected and stored by the thin film transistor array, or the TFT array. Incident x-ray photons interact with the amorphous selenium and create electron holes through digital ionization of selenium. The electric charges are in proportion to the amount of X-ray exposure that was received. The charges are collected by a storage capacitor in the TFT and remain there until read out by the switching action of the TFT. The flat panel detector array is designed in layers. The top layer is a bias electrode followed by an amorphous selenium and then the TFT array connected to storage capacitors. The TFTs then read the signal and transmit it to a computer workstation. TFT is a photosensitive array of electronic comp components that are layered in a glass foundation. They include the readout, the charge collector, and the light sensitive elements. The TFT panel is made up of a network of pixels or detector elements referred to as DELs. 
the detector elements collect the electrons that represent individual components of the image. The thin film transistor is constructed into a network of pixels or detector elements. Each detector element has a switch and a storage area. When the switch is activated, the stored signal is sent to the computer. The detector elements collect the electrons that represent the individual components of the image. The number of electrons deposited in the individual DELs corresponds to the amount of radiation that strikes each area. As electrons are extracted from the TFTs, they are sent to the analog to digital converter, which sends the signal to the computer. Detector elements automatically and immediately are erased. The size of the detector elements determines the spatial resolution of a flat panel detector. As the size of the detector elements increases, the spatial resolution will decrease. Indirect capture systems are similar to direct captor capture except they are scintillator based, meaning the light X-ray photons in the remnant beam must be converted to light photons by the simulator and light photons are then converted to an electrical signal. The scintillator material is usually a phosphor such as gadolinium oxysulfide, which is a turbid, or thallium-doped cesium iodine, which is a needle. The phosphors absorb the X-ray photons and produce visible light. The light that is emitted by the phosphor interacts with amorphous silicon which is a photoconductor that converts the light photons into electrons. The electrons are captured by the thin film transistors, which produce the electrical signal that is stored on the capacitor unit until it is released by the TFTs for readout and sent to an analog to digital converter. As mentioned previously, the light that is emitted by the phosphor interacts with amorphous silicon, which is a photoconductor. It converts the light photons into electrons. The electrons are captured by the TFTs, which produce the electrical signal that is stored on the capacitor unit until it is released by the TFTs for readout and finally sent to the analog to digital converter. The CCD is a light sensitive device used in digital photography and digital imaging systems. 
The charge coupled device were used in early indirect conversion digital imaging systems and are still found in medical imaging applications, according to Carter and Veal. X-ray photons that exit the patient interact with the scintillation material, otherwise gadolinium oxysulfide or cesium iodide, which then emits light. The light is sent by the lenses or fiber optics to the charge coupled device. The amount of light emitted by the scintillator is in proportion to the radiation that exits the patient and interacts with the scintillator. The CCD is very sensitive to even low levels of light. CCD converts the light into an elect electrical charge that is stored on small capacitors. The charge is then released in sequence and sent to the analog to digital converter, according to Carter and Veal. CMO systems were developed by NASA. Similar to CCDs, they need a scintillator material. A semiconductor is a solid chemical element or compound that conducts electricity under some conditions. When X-ray photons strike the simulator, they are converted into light photons and stored in capacitors. Each detector element, or DEL, in the system has its own amplifier, which is switched on and off by circuitry in the DEL. This converts the light photons into electrical charges which are sent to the analog to digital converter to be converted into digital data and then processed by the computer. Thanks for watching. To purchase the full course and earn your CE credits, click on the link in the description or head on over to our website at www.medical-professionals.com. And while you're there, check out our all access pass where you can get unlimited CE credits for your state and ARRT renewal for just $49.99. We also offer a host of free resources to make it easier than ever for radiologic technologists like you to achieve excellence. Check out our free radiology CE webinars, clinical reference guides, and free CE courses on our website today. Be more than just certified. Choose medical professionals.